Your LearnCube content library is where all your lesson materials are stored, so you can easily access them in class. In this video, we'll look at your library app in section where you can upload and manage your files. First question, where is my library admin? So you can access it from your dashboard for virtual classroom users. It's this button here. Uh, for online school teachers and students, you can click on the library menu item up here. And for online school administrators, you also have this uh, library icon in your sidebar. This is what the admin library looks like. You can see I have all of my files and folders here in the middle. And on the left, I have this navigation area where I can find all the folders I have access to. Virtual classroom users don't have the navigation panel since you're not uh, a school with other teachers and students, but the main section works exactly the same. So let's go ahead and upload some lesson materials. Uh, now you can of course upload files inside the virtual classroom itself. and I have a whole video about the different ways you can do that. The link is in the description below. To upload files here, uh, simply click on this little upload icon in the folder you want to upload to. The interface is exactly like the one in the classroom, so I can browse through my computer or just drag and drop my files like so. Um, now I can name the files and set the properties like level, the subject, and so on. Uh, this will help you define the files when you need them in class. Um, I recommend using a clear, consistent naming convention, such as uh, level, unit number, topic, and filling in as much info as you can. You can click here to upload them one by one, or just click on top to upload them all. Simple. So now that we have some files in our library, let's take a closer look. You can see file properties. Just click on the file name here and you can see this property panel opens up on the right hand side. Now, what you can do next depends on what permission you have. The folder owner has ability to edit files, but uh, if the file is in a folder shared with you, you'll just be able to preview that file. Uh, I go into that in another short video all about folders and sharing, which I'll also link in the video description. For now, let's assume these are my files and I, I have full access. You can preview the file by clicking on this little eye icon. Note that the file will be watermarked with your logo when it's in preview mode. Here, you can delete a file by clicking the little trash icon here or here. Uh, deleted files are moved to the trash folder, but they'll be permanently deleted after 30 days, so be careful. Uh, finally, we can edit the file by clicking on the little icon here or here. You have a preview again. Uh, we can edit the title, level, category, and all that if you want to, but the description, that's what's really interesting here. Adding a description means that you and your teachers will see a little info icon inside the classroom. Like this. We can hover over that and see more about the file. Importantly, this info comes up in the search. So, for example, uh, this PDF has some IELTS exam questions. The title is IELTS, writing questions part two. Pretty clear, and I don't want to make it any longer. In the description, let's write the topics covered by those exam questions. We have education, food, gender roles, and parenting. I don't want to use numbers because that means if I'm searching for a unit number, this file could pop up, but let's use some hyphens to make it a bit clearer. And now in the classroom, we're working on a topic related to parenting. And when I search for parenting, this file appears and I know it'll be relevant to my class. So. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, I encourage you to go and try these features out when you have time to do a bit of organization. Happy teaching!